To check out all our products, go to musicnomadcare.com. Hey, it's Rand inside the Music Nomad house, ready to show you how to put strap locks on your acoustic guitar without permanently modifying it. It finally can be done, just like electric guitar players. You can go now as an acoustic guitar player and get strap locks on your acoustic guitar, and we're gonna show you how to do that. All you need is Music Nomad's Acousta Lock combined with Schaller strap locks that can be found at most guitar stores. There are other strap lock systems out there, but we decided to have Acousta Lock work with Schaller strap locks. So you decided you want to put strap locks on your acoustic guitar. Now we just need to figure out which Acousta Lock you need to use. The first thing you want to make sure is that your um, output jack is extending out, that it's not recessed or flush to the body because you need something to be able to put on the Acousta Lock. So there's three different types. You have the standard thread that comes out of an output jack and that typically is found on Fishman and Switchcraft output jacks. The second one is for metric threaded jacks. That's usually popular on LR bags pickup systems. The third one is for designed specifically for Taylor Expressions 9 volt battery box. Just for that, they've been making that since 2007. So you decided that you want to put acoustic lock on your guitar and you need to figure out which one to buy. We're going to help you figure that out. The easiest thing is if you have a Taylor 9 volt expression system, then we have that particular acoustic lock just for that guitar. If you don't have that guitar, we have two others to choose from for a standard or a metric output thread and we'll help you through the, to figure it out. So if you have an output jack that extends out like this one with the threads, you either have a standard thread or a metric thread. And if, again, if you're unsure, one of the, uh, these are the tips to figure out which one you have. The first thing you can do is take it to a Music Nomad dealer and let them go ahead and install the acoustic lock for you or they can pull out the acoustic lock and try it on your guitar and be able to match up whether you have a standard or a metric thread. The second way is go ahead and reach out to the guitar maker and email them your serial number and ask them what kind of pickup system that you have. If they have a Fishman or an LR Bags, then you, you'll have the answer and you could pick up the model that will handle that on the acoustic lock. If you have a used guitar and you're unsure if it was, the pickup was maybe swapped out, then there are some additional tricks you can figure out. You can measure the outside diameter of the output jack thread. Standard threads are 9.3 millimeters and metric threads 8.75. That's a noticeable difference when using a micrometer. If you have a micrometer, that's a sure way to be able to figure out if you have a standard or a metric thread. Another way to be able to figure it out is the curvature of the end, pack, end jack cover. You will have either a flat top surface found on most standard jacks or a slightly rounded top surface found on most metric jacks. So the last thing you can do is take a flashlight and an inspection mirror and see if you can read the internal components, any brand names on there. If you have a Fishman or an LR Bags you can see, then we have the acoustic lock to take care of that. Once you've gotten the acoustic lock you needed to install on your guitar, it's really easy to do. We're going to show you how to install the acoustic lock on this Taylor Expression system and then how it attaches to your strap lock. So the first thing you want to do is we supply the Allen key. You'll get it just like this assembled. You want to remove the strap button and the different components. You will slip the brass keyhole ring right over the strap button and then wedge in the top plate aligning the screw holes together of the two and then reattach the strap button. And when you're tightening it, you want to give it a little snug tight. Get it in there real nice and tight. That's it. So what's nice about this is that it moves exactly in the spot that you need it. So then when you're looking to attach the strap lock to it, and that's all done, installed, just in matter of a minute. So when you're looking to attach a strap lock to it, this is the Schaller strap S series buttons. Go ahead and take strap lock and here's your strap. You want the actual strap lock on the bottom underside and you just put it through strap hole, tighten the nut in so now you have the acoustic lock installed. 
and you have your strap lock on your strap, you can go and you can see how it just snaps right in. What's great is you can put your cable right in as well as get to the battery box if you have to. On the other side, you want to replace your strap button with a shawler strap button, get the strap lock on the other side of the, the, the strap, and then both sides will be locked in. And now you can finally let go. So now we're going to show you how to install AcoustaLock on a standard or a metric thread. They're both the same installation process and it's quite easy. First thing you want to do, is this is a Breedlove, um, is you want to unscrew the end cap. On this Breedlove, it's an LR bag system. You can actually tell from the curvature on this. Um, go ahead and undo that. You want to make sure that the jack is securely tightened to the body, which this one is. Go ahead and take your metric threaded Acousta lock and just twist it on to the point where you get it real snug, tight. And this actually landed in the perfect spot, exactly where you want it to be pointed, right back towards you. Um, so when you do, go ahead and snap on your strap lock. When your strap lock's already installed right here, go ahead and snap it in. And you can get, as you can see, you can get access with your cable directly right there. It's pointed back towards your body in the perfect spot. This is a ready to go. You can finally let go now on your acoustic guitar. So here we have a Callings guitar with, with a standard thread Fishman pickup system. First thing you want to do is unscrew the end jack cover. Feel it. Actually, you feel it's a little loose right there, so we need to go ahead and tighten that. This is Music Nomad's Octopus as a half inch driver. If you can get to that tighten it about a, half, a quarter of the way around, uh, that's going to go beyond that. Um, then you can use this. But if you are going to go further, you want to be careful because you could twist the wires. So I'm going to show you how to do it on a really loose output jack right here. So what you want to do is you want to take a small screwdriver, or here's an Allen wrench that I have. You want to slide it through there so you keep this thread steady and go ahead, get in and tighten that down. Keep going. So it's really tight right there. So now you're ready to in install the standard thread uh, acoustic lock. So go ahead and screw it right on. And you want to get to a point where it's snug tight, right, like that. But you can see that it actually went beyond the place where we want to have it uh, stop. You want it to actually be pointed slightly back towards you. So this went a little bit too far. So let's show you how to adjust the threads in order to get acoustic lock in the ideal position. So you want to just unwind this. And we're going to need to go in and adjust the thread length. So you can get a little bit more and get the acoustic lock locked in at the right spot. So to do that, basically you're gonna do kind of what we showed before. You're gonna stick, you can actually un, you're gonna loosen this up. Then you're gonna go ahead and stick that in. And you can hold this a little bit, especially if it's moving like that. So you wanna hold this and you wanna go ahead and adjust the thread while you're holding the half inch hex nut. You want to do it a couple times right there. Then you want to go ahead and retighten. You notice how the Allen key is in a different spot, so you know you adjusted the thread some. Get it right tight right there. Pull that out and let's try it again. See if we're in a better position here. There we go. Okay. So you can see that now it's pointed slightly back towards me. So that's exactly where you want it um, when you're in the playing position. So when you have that right where you need it, you can go ahead with your strap lock ins installed. Uh, you can go ahead and slide it right in. So we've shown you how to install acoustic lock on your acoustic guitar. So you can now add strap locks to your acoustic guitar without permanently modifying it. So you can finally let go. Thanks for watching another one of our How to Use Music Nomad product videos. For more information on all our products, go to musicnomadcare.com.